Hi, I'm going to show you how to use ClipChamp to make a short animation, a stop frame animation. So a stop frame is when you have a picture, you draw an element, you take a picture, you draw, you add to that element, and then you take a picture and so forth. So every single element that you add, you take a picture. So for example, First, I start with a line. I'm going to draw, make an animation where the flower is growing. So I draw the ground. This is the line representing the ground. And I place my paper, try to place it in the same position and try to always take the picture from the same angle because this will create smoother transitions throughout your different frames that you are making. That is why they call it stop frame because you add the picture in every frame so the picture literally stops after it ends and you connect them through transitions on the ClipChamp app. So line, my seed, take a picture, the growth process. So little by little, I, grow, I draw how the flower is growing. But every step, I take a picture. The smaller your additions, to your uh, picture that you're creating. So in other words, the shorter the lines and the more details you go for, the smoother and the more realistic your stop frame becomes. So you can go to media and, or add media, and you can add pictures from your Dropbox or even browse files. I already add them from, I uploaded my pictures onto my drive and from my drive, I then go and upload them. So here they are. And then I started from the first picture I drew and I added to my frame and then the second one. So right now it looks like this. So here you can see that in every frame, you can actually click on the picture and you can move the picture around so that you can try and line them up so that they're more or less in the same position so that there is like i said before a smoother transition from the first to the second to the third frame and so forth you can also add music so when you go to add media Actually, you go to stock. There is an option for audio and you can select the theme that you like. I've, I like that one, but I've added one already that I liked and it is right here. And I'm gonna drop it into the frame underneath my photos. And let's see how that works out. Great. If you want to make a clip shorter, you can go to the edge and you just drag it to create it uh, or to stop it where you want it to stop. So that works for the music and for the photos the same way. Similar to iMovie actually, so it's pretty easy to use. Once you're done and you're happy with your video, you can press export and it will export your video here. The paid options has better resolutions, but the 480 is fine for our class purposes. You press continue and that's it. You can download the video, you can add it to YouTube or anything else that you like.